meteorologist Jamie Warner. It was gorgeous. Really, all weekend long, we had a lot of sunshine, especially today, and we had milder readings. In fact, check out the high temperatures from today. Temperatures topped out, yes, in the 40s to the north and northeast, which is a lot better than we were looking at last week. But down south, southern Missouri and in northern Arkansas, that were, is where it was especially nice, topping out in the low to mid 50s. 52 this afternoon in Springfield. This after a 51 degree high yesterday, and this after the cold that we experienced for most. Of last week. Well, guess what, folks? We're going back the other way. Things are about to get cold again, and we're finding right now a clipper in Iowa. That Iowa clipper is going to be uh, uh, dumping a whole lot of cold air into our area on Monday. Uh, here's what the temperatures look like right now. You can see where the Arctic air mass is here across the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes. Meanwhile, down to the southwest, here across our neck of the woods, winds are out of the southwest, and that's, that's really sort of replaced the very cold air mass with the much milder air mass that we're enjoying right now. This is short-lived, though, because this clipper is going to continue to push on off toward the east, and it will unleash some Arctic air once again back into the Ozarks. So here's what we're expecting overnight tonight. It'll be chilly, but not terribly cold. We're talking temperatures only dropping into the upper 30s. Also, look for some rain to be moving. Moving in after sunrise tomorrow with this first front. So it looks like uh, probably early to mid morning, we're going to have a wave of rain. After which, there's going to be a secondary front, and it's the second front which will deliver the Arctic air. And with that one, we'll have a chance for maybe some snow flurries, say around noon into the early afternoon hours, and we will find falling temperatures during the afternoon as well. So let's piece this all together for you in your hour by hour forecast. And I know this looks a little muddled, but what I want you to see is that we have a high temperature and we also have the wind chill because the wind chill is going to be important tomorrow afternoon as well. So let's put this into motion. For you overnight tonight, quiet towards sunrise. Notice this band of rain dropping south. That's the first front. Temperatures behind that first front really still not too hard to take. We're talking uh, temperatures in the middle and upper 30s through late morning. And again, that's a quick hitting round of rain. Around noon or shortly thereafter is when that secondary front will come through. Could see some flurries with it, but watch the temperatures. The temperatures drop from the 30s back through the 20s as we work through mid to late afternoon and notice wind chills drop back into the lower teens, eventually into the single digits as we head into the early evening hours. So our Monday Monday forecast for Springfield looking like this. Looks like upper 30s during the morning and then falling back into the 20s by mid afternoon. And again, the rain will come through early to mid morning and we'll have that chance for flurries early in the afternoon. Now, there's another big blast of cold coming polar vortex. You've heard that term put out there over the last several years. A chunk of the polar vortex is going to drop across the upper Midwest and Great Lakes over the coming days. And that is going to bring some brutally cold air to those locations. Temperatures minus 20 to minus 35, maybe even a little bit lower than that. We're going to get a glancing shot, though, here in the Ozarks. Look for that Arctic blast to arrive Tuesday night. Single digit lows by Wednesday morning. Wind chills Wednesday morning in the zero to minus 10 degree range. And teens for highs Wednesday afternoon. Very, very cold. Cold, but as cold as that is, look how quickly temperatures turn around once again. I think by late week into the upcoming weekend, as we're going into February, temperatures are going to feel a lot nicer. In fact, it looks like highs may be up near 60 over the weekend. I've seen some of the forecasting for uh, places north of us, and they're going to have dangerously cold wind chills. So we've got obviously the polar plunge, but nothing like what they're going to have up north. Just a glancing shot for us. Okay, Jamie, thanks. Mm -hmm. On the way with the government.